Okay, another song on the undeniable fact that people I know who are crazy wicked fucking racers and I've told they need to go to pro riding around where how have we not died? How have we not died? How does that vehicle even gain traction at the last millisecond and we pull away before we slam into our the total fireball that will either consume us or cripple us and destroy most of our body for the rest of our life. Okay, those people, as good as they are, as good as they are, and, and you guys aren't as good as them, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> either God's protecting them and they're making them look better than they are, or they're really fucking good. These are like the best racers I've seen in one of the largest cities in the fucking empire of the world. Um, their vehicles will not win an F1 race. And I guarantee you one of them, if not all the ones I can pull out who are the top racers with the fastest vehicles here can tell you that they've never driven an F1 race car and they're not going to go 300 miles per hour straight into a an S-curve that curves completely backwards from the direction they're going right now. I guarantee you that because I have... <laughs> They know, they understand, my vehicle is a drag racer. I'm going to defeat you if we drag race and nothing else. They, and then the other one understands, hey, I'm like, I'm, I'm probably going to defeat a drag racer. And then probably everyone on the streets, because I've never seen an F1 car on the streets, understands I'm not an F1 racer. Because they're that good. That's how they. That's how they get that good. That's how they. That's how they soup their cars up. They know what they're doing. I've. I've been hanging out, just chilling, smoking bud, and drinking, with people who are driving me down the street 250 miles per hour. Have you ever been 200 to 250 miles per hour? No. And I put that question out there to Herman Lee of Dragon Force, and any guitarist who tries to say every guitar is equal and the same. Any guitarist who says that, I ask you, have you ever even ridden in a vehicle going 200 miles per hour? And Angry Mountain Sea might say, yes, while well, I own Lamborghini. But most people on Lamborghinis do not go 200 miles per hour. You got to realize people have that much money. Or they, they drive. I've, I've watched my racer friends. They go up and they challenge people like this and they don't, they back down. They're like, hey, you're an evil person. Why are we going 200 miles per hour? <laughs> Why are we going 70 miles per hour in the 25 zone? It's like, no, no, we're not going 70, bro. You just lay it off the gas. We're about to go 200 in the 35 zone, in the 45 zone, in the 55 zone, okay? You are just, you're riding around with your girlfriend trying to show off. You don't know what you're doing even. And at the end of the day, like, those people probably, like, admittedly know, to, know they don't know what they're doing and they don't want to do that stuff, so they don't do it. I'm going to show you. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, try some simple stuff here. Some what, Metallica crap? I think it's Metallica 1. Although it sounds so much like I start stuff, I get it confused a lot. I'm always like, I'm about to play I start and I end up playing Metallica 1. <laughs> up because the timing is different on when my fucking piston is supposed to hammer the fucking gas into the combustion chamber. It's called a misfire in an engine if it's not timed properly. Okay? So, and, and it doesn't matter how good you think you are or how good you think someone else is. What matters is that someone can play better than them if they understand how this stupid science stuff that there's two things that rule this world. There's the mind and there's the science. And if you listen to someone explain to you how science controls the guitar around you, then they have failed if they have uh, failed to relate the uh, little... What the hell is that sound? 
I think it's a vehicle. Someone's outside working on a vehicle. Hopefully, that's all it is. Um, anyways, um, if you have if you have failed to understand that you can make your engine fire faster if you do it faster, like, I mean, technically, I'm watching Ingvay Malmsteen. He's talking about playing with strings real high, and he's talking about making concave frets. Do you know how expensive concave frets are to make? The guitars don't come with concave frets unless they're like four thousand dollar guitars. And even then, I'm pretty sure most guitars at the four to seventeen to twenty nine to three hundred thousand dollar price value don't have concave frets. And he he's totally right on on how this can work for you. But but in fact, like, he could probably play better because he, he's learning, he's playing with like such a high thing. But a high tolerance also can be, I guess, the, the difference between an F1 race or a dragster and a standard uh, drift car is three things. There's a dragster, the drift car, the F1 racer, and their timings and their clearances are all different in their engines, most likely. That way, they can be, like in an F1, you're like... I mean, it's just crazy. Like, uh, if you've never even been in a normal race car, like, you, I can't really even imagine what an F1 race car is like other than hearing it and understanding that it's more highly tuned than the dragsters I've been in and the driftsters I've been in and all this stuff. Um, and I, I just, I kind of assume, like, if you give me a $350,000 F1 racer, I, I, I'll be dead within 30 minutes. Like, because I'm going to figure out how it works. And there's one way for me to figure out how it works. And that's to push it to the limit, baby. And so we have these things. Okay, let, let's, let's break into it more. Let's see how this works even more. How it, the failure of what I used to be able to play cannot be done on something like this. Because I'm so used to a different clearance. So we're going to break into the distortion area. We're going to... Like considering every what I'm trying to talk about, I did that quite well. But I had to I had to attack so hard, and I had to hold down those strings so hard to make sure that the attack was right. Like I'm too useless. I don't even want this to happen. I definitely don't want this to happen because I don't want to focus on slamming my hands into place and sitting there. I want them to be like. I want to focus on that, not. Uh, but even while I'm doing that right now, it's like it's stressing me out, and that shouldn't stress me out. I should just be able to. I should be able to do that with ease, without, without hammering and nailing and just be able to press on it and it, it go where I want it to but now I've now with this I've got to jam it I've got to mash it and it's like man most guitarists aren't even strong I mean look at them dude they've been drinking so much alcohol they're 40 pounds less than me I'm not even close to that that level of lack of strength and how are they doing that like as a lot, the grace of God is allowing them to manipulate some hard ass out of play stuff and and so we get down to the you hear the difference there don't you that's two different sounds and I'm only halfway between pressing it down that means when I tune it to here it's different than there. 
That means that is not a true fifth fret. That's not a true open fret. And once we tune it to 12, oh my God, you're really fucked at that point. 12, 12 and a half. See, that sounds like two different things, don't it? See, a guitarist who's tuning knows when you tune, that's not even in tune. Because it's supposed to sound so exactly the same that it sounds annoying, like it's something you wouldn't want to do again. It's not exactly the same. Oh, it's so cool, bro. Let me just play that all day. Still probably not exactly the same because it sounds like it could play it all day. Still probably not exactly the same because it sounds like it could play all day. And the difference here is I'm pressing down on this fist. See that I'm, I can make a whole song here based upon the space between the string and the fret I'm pressing on. So technically, it's hitting the fret spacer, but I'm pressing, you're supposed to press on the fret spacer, but I hit on the fret right before the fret spacer. Ooh -hoo. Sue me for it. Let's see. can't do that you can't you can't I, I've never seen anyone press on the fret space or they tell you that and they'll be right up beside it and they're pressing on it with the, maybe the outside no not anyways playing in two different areas of the same fret. Now it's producing like six different harmonics because it's garbage. This is garbage. It, the, the difference between this and garbage is garbage can be burned and will be recycled into the atmosphere faster than this waste of space ever could be. This is, this is this is what garbage looks at and says, you are garbage. You look at a banana peel that's rotten and black and has mold, green, red, purple hues, and you're sick for three days if you accidentally smell the spores, inhale the spores through your nose, smell the spores that come up off it for three days. You're accidentally sick for three days after that. This guitar, is what good guitars smell and become sick for days after seeing. If you dare try to move your guitar anywhere near something like this, it's it's going to be sick permanently. The guitar doesn't heal like the way the human body does. You smell those spores inside that bag full of white, green, and black mold. Um, you're like instantly like high but it's like a death high. It's not like a high high. Like there's a difference between death and high. And it's one of the arguments of what cigarette smoking does is it gives you this special cool high because you're inhaling all these carcinogens that are killing you. Um, but other than that, this is not equal to everything else in the world. Everything is not equal. Can you play? Can you even play as crappy as I can if you pick up guitar for the first time? Does that mean you're as equal as me? It, it, no, it means you're not. And if you give me a good guitar that I'm used to, good luck with that after a year. You think your year or two of playing on crap fucking has gotten you anywhere. <laughs> Song, you 
bro. What I'm saying is if you've never touched a guitar, you can't do that, can you? It's like if I've never, if I, if you work on cars, you work on engines, transmissions, let's not say cars. Engines, transmissions, you work on resurfacing the cylinders and resizing the bores, replacing the pistons and all that good stuff, replacing transmission line, flushing the transmission. What's going to happen if I do that versus you do that? When you do that, the vehicle's going to work, hopefully. And when I do it, we can hope the vehicle works. Better send some prayers out to all your favorite gods, Jesus, Krishna, Allah. You know, if you like Lucifer, send your prayers out to Lucifer. If you like uh, Scooby-Doo, you better send out all those prayers out. Because if I try to re freaking Man. I know I'm not talking to anyone who actually watches these videos. But this pisses me off when people start ripping people off with bullshit nonsense. This happens all over. The bullshit nonsense. I, you can send your prayers out to the God of uh, Randy Rhodes all you want. And you know what? Maybe Randy Rhodes will help you. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you just be like, dear Randy Rhodes, teach me how to play. And you'll be like. Think that's something I practiced before? I mean, that sounds like Beethoven or Bach or something, doesn't it? And it would be even better if I didn't have a crappy little Ford vehicle in my hand and I had some. I mean, F1 cars have the name Ford and Chevy on them, but you really, you really think like Ford and Chevy make F1 cars for people they have, they send like one or two experts out to help people who, who know way more, the drivers of F1 cars know more than any Chevy mechanic ever will. These people I know who are racers in the streets, they know more about their vehicles than the people who work on their vehicles. That's why they know when the people destroy their vehicles and fry their engines, and they go out there and open the throttle and they just blow their freaking engine like within day one. That, there's a reason they know they didn't blow their engine that these people didn't tune this sh crap right. And these professionals who are like all oh, high end and, and tune vehicles all over, they didn't, they didn't tune it right. And they didn't tune the supercharger right. They didn't hook up the supercharger right. Something like that because it didn't work and then it blew within six hours. It's, it's not, oh, the engine blew because it couldn't handle it. It's, no, the engine blew because it wasn't tuned to the point where it's not going to blow and to where it can be handled. And, and that's what happens with these crap things. Look, the string's already out of place in this stupid video. Did you hear that? I had to snap it back into place. What type of garbage is this? What the, who are these people? Herman Lee telling you every guitar is great and fantastic. I've never heard Dave Mustaine uh, mention every guitar is good and fantastic. And back in the day, I never heard anyone. Even Bob Dylan probably tell you every voice in the world is not fantastic. And he's Bob Dylan. He's the one... He's the one selling you, he's picking stuff out of the garbage and, and trying to sell it to you so he can get a fucking meal to eat and stuff, right? So, tell me, tell me where I'm wrong and they're wrong that every guitar is the same. Here, let's end with a little jam, try to end on a positive note. I don't even know how to play positive scales because all I know is aggressive, freaking hyperactive crazy nonsense and I'm learning more here but really, let's try something I don't even know yet that I've learned <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
if you didn't know, everything else I played, most of it's nonsense I've never played before. It just, it sounds a little bit shittier when I'm on something that is a little, I don't want to do that too much because we can't afford new strings and it's shitty. It, it's going to do something to it. It's pissing me off, bro, for real. Like this guitar, these people, everything. This bodybuilding industry, it's a bunch of people using drugs to get big. They're selling you all these scams and the musical industry. It's a bunch of scam artists using a bunch of techniques and overdrive and noise suppression to sound better than you're ever going to sound. If you don't have a noise gate, the noise gate is the key. The noise gate is everything. I can I can do this all day with a noise gate, even on this crappy guitar. I can do it a lot better with a lot better with the F1 racer, but with a Ford. See, see, I can I can drift around corners with a Festiva if I have drifting tires. But I don't have drifting tires. I'm going to burst those tires within two to three drifts. If I'm lucky, I'll last that long. And then, have you ever bursted a tire? Do you know what bursting a tire does? Bursting a tire will destroy the vehicle, especially if you're flying around the corner. It'll destroy the rims, the axle. <laughs> you know, if, if just one gets blown, then you're lucky because it's just rims and axle and tire, obviously the tire. And, but, if, if I had noise gate, I could just do whatever all day. And this little... I hold my fingers in and I get those. getting better by playing without garbage. I was getting, you're not going to get better at F1 racing by driving a Ford Festiva. I mean, you could, but you're, you've got a mental issue. You're never going to race against 350 mile per hour cars if you're driving a 60 mile per hour piece of bull crap. 